May I please have my slides? FP681. Good morning. Today I'll be speaking on validation of international classification of central serous chorioretinopathy or CSCR and effect of adding choroidal thickness to it. Central serous chorioretinopathy is an idiopathic serous retinal detachment which can be classified on the basis of duration as acute or chronic. But a proper classification system to predict its disease course has been elusive. Chablani et al. had proposed the multimodal imaging based classification which is the international classification of CSCR and classified it into simple, complex and atypical but they have not included choroidal thickness. A study published by our group compared the outcomes in CSCR with or without pachychoroid where we have shown that cases with pachychoroid were associated with more recurrences, lesser spontaneous resolution and poorer visual acuity. So the aim of our study was to study the effect of adding choroidal thickness to the international classification in predicting the final outcomes in cases of CSCR. It was a retrospective observational study. Consecutive cases with CSCR were included. Complete ophthalmic examination with comprehensive multimodal imaging was done and uh, results were analyzed with SPSS version 23. Cases of CSCR were classified on the basis of FAF or fundus autofluorescence into simple which is less than two disc diameters and complex with more than two disc diameters of cumulative retinal pigment epithelium or RP involvement. On the basis of enhanced depth imaging OCT, they were classified into non-pachychoroid and pachychoroid with less than uh, uh, 300 and more than 300 microns of subfoveal choroidal thickness or SFCT. Combining these four groups, we have suggested four groups which are group A. The simple non-pachychoroid group where we can see less than two disc diameters of RP involvement with an SFCT of less than 300 microns. The simple pachychoroid group where again we see less than two disc diameters of RP involvement but the SFCT is more than 300. The complex non-pachychoroid group where we can see more than two disc diameters of RP involvement but an SFCT of less than 300 and finally the complex pachychoroid group group D with more than two disc diameters of RP involvement and an SFCT of more than 300. This is the baseline demography, 201 patients were included, mean age was 46 years and uh, there were more males in the study. This is the table showing the distribution across the four groups. Significant uh, difference in the mean age was seen across the four groups. Significant difference was also seen in the mean visual, uh, the final visual equity. With the worst visual equity seen in group D, the complex pachychoroid group. The Duration of disease was seen to be the maximal in group D, that is the complex pachychoroid, followed by group B, the simple pachychoroid, therefore both the pachychoroid groups. The cases presenting as recurrences were minimal in group A, the simple non-pachychoroid, and maximum in group D, the complex pachychoroid. Ellipsoid zone uh, disruption and external limiting membrane disruption were seen to be maximal in group D, the complex pachychoroid, but no cases of either were seen in group A and B, the simple non-pachy and the simple pachychoroid groups respectively. Now, classification based on duration of disease in CSCR had no anatomical correlations. International classification, which classified it had on basis of RP changes on FAF, uh, it, uh, uh, factors like choroidal thickness were not included and FF signals in CSCR may be influenced by cataract and vitroretinal lesions. RP changes in CSCR may be also seen due to pigment clumps and depigmentation. So the classification system based on CSCR, uh, uh, on, based on FF changes alone is fallacious and study by our group has already shown the distinct differences in outcome with or without pachychoroid. For example, in the present study, more recurrences were seen with simple pachychoroid group than with simple non-pachychoroid. Similarly, complex pachychoroid choroid group had more recurrences and poorer outcome than complex non-pachychoroid. So combining choroidal thickness with areas of RP alteration gave better predictability in the outcomes in patients with CSCR. So we propose, based on our findings, we propose a new integrated system of classification where simple and complex signify less than and more than two disc diameters of cumulative RP involvement and non-pachychoroid and pachychoroid signify less than 300 and more than 300 microns or SFCT. What this study adds, our study proposes a new classification system of CSCR which incorporates both choroidal thickness and areas of RP alterations on FF. Limitations were it was a retrospective study done in a single center. ICG was not done in all cases. To conclude, role of choroidal thickness in cases of CSCR cannot be ignored. Dual effect of pachychoroid and area of RP changes had associated with greater recurrences and poorer outcomes in terms of visual equity and the new proposed classification system gives a better predictability in the final visual outcome in such patients. These are my references. Thank you. Dr. Vishti, uh, 
basically i think instead of saying that uh, this is pachycoroid because pachycoroid is not just choroidal thickness yes sir it's thickening of the outer and middle layers with compression of the choreo capillaries yes, so sir. you may want to go back and re examine the complex group eyes which didn't do so, so badly as the others okay and yes, so sir. instead of saying that uh, this is uh, with pachycoroid and without pachycoroid you can just say with choroidal thickness more than 300 or less than 300 maybe uh, yes sir sir actually we did consider the other factors but just for the sake of classification we have kept only the factor of sxct no, but yes sir it's a nomenclature that's what i'm pointing out. yes sir okay. yes sir no, i think uh, it's a good contribution but as uh, dr patosh says you have to look into the different layers of the choroid uh, before you classify it further yes sir uh, before you call it a pachycoroid it's just a semantic thing rather than what you're saying yes, is correct yes sir so there lies an ambiguity in the definition actually so uh, like not the definition but a lot of factors are included we have just taken this as our criteria yes 